Okay, folks, I'm going to tie a wee her wing pattern. Um, and this is going to be a, just a slight variation on a flag called Phil's Fancy. Now, this type of flag was traditionally be fixed, you know, it's a Canadian flag, but it would be faced in the likes of Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, those sort of places. But there's nothing to say that it won't work over here. So the hook in the vase is a size 12 Partridge Patriot double. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the flag is uni thread 801 red. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. Just run on a turn of, couple of turns of thread and remove the waist tag. Now the tag and the rib of the fly is going to be an oval silver tinsel and small. This is just a Vanyard's product. Okay, it's a 14, but it's a small. So I'm just going to come in after this underneath the shank of the hook. A couple of turns to hold. I'm going to bring the oval silver tinsel underneath the hook. And then I'm going to run my thread down. Just hang this in. Now I'm going to bring the thread. Once I let the thread go, it's past the point of the hook. And I'm going to come in with four turns of the oval silver tinsel. To create my tag on the fifth turn, I'm going to bring it up and in between the two hooks. Now, I'm just going to come around with a turn to hold. I want to keep the oval silver tinsel underneath the hook. And then I'm going to fold it back on itself. Now I'm just going to bring this up. Just my patience, just because I've cut off a long length, but I want it long. Now, I'm just going to bring it up the length of the body. about there and then I want to fold back the oval silver tinsel and bring my thread back down. Now that locks in your tag really well if you do that and makes the fly a wee bit stronger. Now the tail on the fly is an orange floss but I'm going to use the lighter orange in the glow bright and this is glow bright floss number seven so it's going to offer that over the back of the hook. I'm going to come around with a pinch and loop a couple of tight turns to secure and then I'm going to come in and trim the tail. I'm just going to measure it here. That's the length of the body. To there. Then I'm just going to come in and trim this in a bit of a tapered cut. The excess. Now, the body is uni floss and black. Uh, you can use black dubbing if you don't have black floss. So just trim the length of that off. Just come up, only yeah, offer this up to the hook. I'm just going to pull this in much to the length of the cut ends of the glow bright floss. And then I'm just going to run my thread up, tying in the two materials. Now, I'm going to try and keep it as smooth as I can. Don't want any lumps and bumps in the body. Up to there. Then you can come around with your. We need floss and black. You're just looking one turn slightly in front of the other. Now we're going to leave ourselves plenty of room at the top here because we have a haggle. We have a haggle and a wing and jungle cock to go on. So just around with a couple of turns to secure in the floss. Just trim away the excess. And we can bring up our rib and you're looking four turns or so of the oval silver tinsel up the body nice and tight to there quite across with your thread one turn to hold a couple of turns to secure that in and just come in from where the excess now i'm just going to put a bit of thread down up to the eye and then come back down there. Now we're going to put on a haggle. This is a hen haggle. Just a light blue hen haggle. So I'm just going to strip back the fibres to reveal the tip. Now I'm just going to trim the tip just to give me a tanning point. A wee tag. It's a tanning point. Because like I say with a wing to go on of and it's going to be grey squirrel dyed fairy brown so we're trying to keep the bulk in the head to the minimum so we're going to tie that in and then we'll just bring this round 
one turn in front of the other. Now you're probably only looking around about two turns. That's all I'm going to put on. So there, I'm going to file around with my thread. One turn to hold, a couple of turns to secure it in. And then I'm just going to come in and trim away the excess. Anything that wants to go forward, I'm just going to stroke it back. Just tie in the, the stem of the hack up nice and tight. Back down. And we're not looking too bad. So the wing, grey squirrel, dyed fairy brown. So I'm just going to come in, take a pinch of the grey squirrel. Now, not looking too much, just a small pinch to create the wing. I'm just going to take away all the rubbish at the bottom because I want to stack it. Tips first into the hair stagger. Just give us a wee rattle on my desk. All the tips have lined up. Just take it out of the hair stagger. Just gonna offer up the hook. Now you can have the short long, it's up to you. I'm just gonna have the wing coming slightly past the tail. So I'm gonna come and just hold it there, take a measurement. Trim the excess over the bin. I'm going to come back in and get the squirrel as close to the shank of the hook as possible. Then I'm going to come around with a pinch and loop. And then another. And then these tight turns now at this stage. Just to secure that in. Now, there's a couple of wee ends that got away from there. So I'm just going to come in and take those away at this stage. The one of a block on the eye up. Now, if you watch my videos, squirrel has a tendency to pull out so at this stage i'm just going to put on a wee like a super glue onto the thread and bring this down over the cut ends so i'm just going to hold the wing bring my thread with the super glue down over the cut ends and back up now on the original pattern there's no flash in the wing but i'm going to put two strands of orange micro flash into the wing just a just a wee bit extra so just hold it there so we'll come around with a pinch and loop turn to hold fold over the excess a couple of turns over the top and then i want to come in and just trim that away yeah just come in and trim this the length of the wing then we're going to come in with our jungle cock so just two eyes here I'm just getting them lined up in my hand. It's in there. You're just seeing the undersides. So I'm just going to stroke back the, the fibers. I'm going to offer this up to the hook. I'm going to fold it down each side. I'm going to come around with a couple of loose turns just to hold. Then I can come in and see the length. Right. That one's just a wee bit long. I'm just going to pull it in. I want them up into the up into the wing. Okay, let's get that sitting. Now, just gonna happy enough. So I'm gonna take hold the jungle cock, take a couple of turns going down because I want to fold these back. So just come in, fold them back, bring my thread back up over the jungle cock, nice and tight. I'm just building my head up here at the same time with the thread. Now, keeping the thread tight, I'm going to come in and break away the stems of the jungle cock. I don't want to catch the flesh, just the stems of the jungle cock. Let's bring this back around to focus for you. Okay, and I haven't had the thread go, and I 
I'm just going to come in and throw in a whip finish. Nice and tight with a whip finish. Pull the thread tight. And then come in, trim away the excess. Now, just first coat on the head just to seal everything up. Super glue. Now, I'll give this fly a wee go. Never faced it before. Just thought I would show you it. Nice wee fly. Give that fly a wee go. Now I'll probably face that on the top driver. Once that super glue dries, I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish onto the head. So like I say, look, give the fly a wee go and hopefully it can catch you a few fish.